The pre-stressed concrete girder is made from plain stone concrete and 10 mm cold form steel reinforcing rods. Determine the dead weight of the girder per meter of its length. Repeat again, we need to determine the dead weight of the girder per meter of its length. In this problem, steel reinforcement is not neglect. So we must find the area of pre-stressed concrete and the area of steel reinforcement. Look at the picture, we know all dimensions of the girder. Especially, it is symmetry. First, we need to find the area of pre-stressed concrete. In my imagination, I divide half of that area into three parts to make an easy calculating. After we found those half of the area, we must minus the area of steel reinforcement. Because the density of steel is different from density of concrete. If you didn't minus the area of steel, the answer of this problem is wrong. After that, we need to multiply to 2 to find the complete the area of pre-stressed concrete. Now we see, the answer is 0 0.289 square meters. The area of steel is 0 0.001 square meters. Now, we are going to find the densities of those materials. In the lesson of types of structures and loads, we have an established table 1.2. It is the table of minimum densities for design loads from materials. From the table, we have the densities of plain stone concrete is equal to 22.6 kN per cubic meters. The densities of cold form steel is equal to 77.3 kN per cubic meters. Now we are on the last step of this problem. Hence, the dead weight of the pre-stressed concrete girder is 6.608 kN per meters. Do you think this video help you or not? If it is helpful, don't forget to share this video to your classmates and also like and comment below to let me know how well you understand this. The important thing is don't forget click to subscribe and put notification with us to avoid missing our videos in the future. Thank you so much.